It's time to dust off your favourite chair and sit in front of the big screen TV. Get a drink in your hand because it's five o'clock somewhere. Your number one host, the thunder from down under, the man on a quest to make money for beer. Can the most electrifying manager in sports entertainment, the man they call Fabio, take Sutton United all the way to the Champions League final? Well, let's find out in today's episode of the Youth Edition. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Youth Edition Career Mode here with Sutton United. We sit in second position, the transfer window is shut, and now it's time for the run home. Can we hold on to second position? We're going to have to win some games, that's for sure. I'm not sure we'll catch Leeds, but uh, if they slip up, hopefully we're there to grasp that chance. I don't think we've won a trophy yet in this series, so uh, it would be nice to get a little bit of silverware in the cabinet for Fabio, but let's just get to the Premier League. Let's get into today's episode. First game today, we're hosting uh, 22nd place, Birmingham City. They're not having the best of seasons. They've got a win there in the last five, though, so good on them. 4-2-3-1 uh, wide formation with standard tactics. Right then, uh, we've got a few issues. Kadlich is out with the broken toe, uh, which means Hardy starts on the bench today. He's only got a Band-Aid, so I don't think he'll be in action. And Wepo only at about 50% stamina. This squad is very, very thin. Uh, we might have to promote some of the youngsters from the Youth Academy on the next report, just so that we've got a little bit there in case we need the squad rotation. But of course, I do like to keep them in the academy because they tend to grow quicker there and we don't affect their potentials. So uh, yeah, it's a fine line we're treading here. We always knew it would be tough this season in the championship as we push for the Premier League, but we are trying to set up for the future. So let's get into this game, hosting Birmingham, and see if we can come out on the other side with the three points. Right, ladies and gentlemen, a ninth fixture here at Gander Green Lane. And Wilson slotting into the first team. Tentative, but pushes his way forward. Brings it inside. Has Coleman here early. Oh, good save. Goes to Dufresne. And play it back. Wilson. In the charge here early, but he's intercepted. Hey, Birmingham. A little bit of fancy footwork seemed to do uh, Andre Eon in there. And Birmingham have the opening goal today. Something getting out of the blocks. A little bit slower than usual, maybe a little bit tired. No one covering the man running through. A simple finish past McLean. That's 1 0. Good from Eon. There's a Wepo. Plays it off the frame. And push the lines. Tries to push his way forward here. Julian Dufresne, the Belgian, running in on goal. Sweet like chocolate boy. Good save. This is Zachariasen. Kone. Quickly in. Andre Eon. He turns. Shoots and delivers. Andre Eon. <laughs> 1 0 Sutton. Oh, that's his third goal of the season. Jeez, you'll take that from a centre back. And we're back on level peggings at 1-1. Just loves being on the ball, Andre Eon. We've moved him to centre-back because we needed some pace and some real physicality back there. But, geez, he's got in the box and just laced one home. It's 1-1. Bojanovic gets us out of trouble. Dufresne. Wilson. Up to Dufresne. Has to run at the defence. Pushes his way forward again, Dufresne. Wheels on the outside. Julian Dufresne just slips it over. Coleman, oh, he's worked the keeper. Corner on the cusp of half time for Sutton United. Trying to find our way into the lead. Here's Ethan Thompson to deliver one into the box. Andre Eon was there, couldn't get it. It's cleared away as far as Wilson, but there's half time. 1 1 here at Gander Green Lane. Oh, Zachariasen comes through, bull in a china shop. Lay this one through as Coleman. Oh, finish! The Barbarian, the Fridge, whatever you want to call him, he's something special. The big Romanian registers his 20th, 7th goal for the season. And it's 2 1 Sutton United. We've come from behind. And now we've got a 2 1 lead. Zachariasen just played the perfect ball. Homan drifts wide, slaps it past the keeper. And that's bread and butter. 2 1. Tackle, Shane Wilson, Coleman, Dufresne. Oh, he just got dumped. Wilson comes through, fires it on. And Wepu doesn't have much left in the tank, so he looks for Coleman. Bang! 3-1 Sutton. 
Fucking see you later. 28 for the season. Boom, shakalaka. That's in, lad. Well, Sutton have found another gear. And Birmingham have no answer here. And Wepu, basically on his last legs. The tank's empty. He's calling for roadside assistance. It's 3-1 Sutton United. And that will be his last play in Wepu. Teddy Simon checking in in the cam roll. Good from Stojanovic. The frame comes away again. Slips this one inside. Finds Coleman. Teddy Simon. After Ethan Thompson. He's going to sprint around the outside here. Tries to deliver. The frame! Oh! It's football! Football is the winner today. Sweet like chocolate. Julian Dufresne. And that will be his uh, 23rd goal of the season. Ethan Thompson. What a season he's having. 4-1 Sutton. We've turned it on here in the second half. Right then, 4-1 up. Let's make some changes with uh, three minutes to go. And we're going to welcome back Jake Hardy. And he's going to go up top for Coleman for the last three minutes. Just... Test out the legs, see how that toe's feeling. Holder, Tang, and Molina also checking in. Kona, Molina. That's Jake Hardy. Oh, he's been blocked. Oh. What is going on? Wow. Well, we'll take the win 4 1. And uh, it was a, a special performance there in the second half. We'll really fight back and get the points. Well, a tale of two halves there. Eventually, we had the possession. 52 percent and 17 shots. Uh, four saves from the Birmingham keeper. But, geez, we came alive there in the second half. All right, performance-wise, Coleman gets an 8.7. So does Dufresne. Andre Eon with an 8.1. Zacharyson was good as well. And uh, everyone sort of chipping in and, and playing a role. Uh, McLean only gets a 5.8 because he conceded one goal and did basically fuck all else. That's a bit harsh. Right then, time to head out on the road for the second game today. He, uh, taking on Stoke City, 10th place. They're in some pretty good form. Three wins out of their last five, a 5-3-2 holding formation uh, with a press. Right, just the one change today with someone Tang getting a start on the right-hand side. Give him some minutes. Uh, and Wepu, oh, geez, he's, he's half empty. But Wilson on the bench, I think, is ready to go. So uh, we'll probably get half a game out of him, Wepu, and ease Hardy back into it. Uh, he has dropped a few rating from that injury. I think he's back down to a 75 now, so uh, he's got some work to do. But let's jump into this one. On the road against Stoke. Let's look for those three points. Maybe a clean sheet. That'd be nice. Under lights at the Stadium of Light to take on Stoke. No, it's not the Stadium of Light. What are you talking about? Where is it? I can't remember. Is it the Stadium of Light, Sunderland? Oh, geez, I've got Sunderland on the brain. Andre Eon, big tackle. There's Mwepu. He'll use what he's got left in the tank already. It's only half an hour gone, but he pushes forward. Can he get across here? He can. He finds Coleman, who brings it back inside. And Mwepu to Wilson. And that's poor. Tucker Ison cleans it up. Come on, Wilson. Get into the game, son. Shane Wilson. Shot locked. Oh, no. Kone's throwing a leg out. He'll get a yellow card. And Stoke will go to the spot. Ah, oh, geez, it's it's a real physical encounter, this one. Not a lot of uh, free-flowing football. Kono's thrown out the leg, and now it's up to McLean if he wants the clean sheet. Oh. One-nil Stoke. Pretty sure McLean went the right way there. He went right, but it was just a knee jerk to the right. It wasn't a, uh, a proper save. And we're one 0 down again. Hang to the liver. This one up. Coleman. No. Zacharyson. Stoyanovic. Andre Eon. Oh, he tried to pull the trigger. 
And that'll be half time. 1 0 down to stock. Well, second half, Jake Hardy is going to get 45 minutes here today. Let's see if the lad still has the skills to pay the bills. Boyanovic does well, cool as a cucumber. The frame plays this one forward for Coleman. and I don't think he's going to get here. The fridge puts some body work in. Ah, spits out the back door. Oh, we'll make some changes. Molina, Teddy Simon, and Thompson checking in. Jackson into the central defensive midfield role. Jackson, Teddy Simon on the outside. Pushing his way forward, brings it back inside. Jake Hardy, oh, good save, Runison. Well, it's a late corner here for Stoke, but uh, yeah, they've put in a real defensive effort today. And there's the whistle. It's a 1-0 defeat on the road to Stoke. Very much a physical game, which I haven't felt for a long time. Um, yeah, lots of tackling, lots of interceptions. And, well, we had the 10 shots, but we couldn't score. A man of the match performance for Zachariasen. Seven tackles. Uh, Andre Eon, Wilson, yeah, it was just all the defense. Not a lot going on up top. Uh, Jake Hardy checked in at halftime. Just going to take a little bit to get back. And um, McLean gets a 5.2. Game three today, we're taking on Hull City. They sit in seventh position, a three and a half star team. 4-3-3 attacking formation with standard tactics. We are on the road at the MKM Stadium. Hardy will start today. We just need to give him Wepu a rest to fully recover. Uh, no, Ivkovic, you are not playing right back. And there we go. Molinar at right back. Jackson at central defensive midfield today. And let's see if we can bounce back and get a win here against Hull City. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's shug off that loss to Stoke and get a win here on the road against Hull City. Go from Peter Jackson. Utility man. This is his way forward. And he gets it out here for Dufresne. Brings it inside. Has Coleman. Oh, good save, Cooper. Zacharyson. Jackson. That's Jake Hardy. Oh, Cooper again. He's on fire, this Cooper. <laughs> One nil Hull. Molina just doesn't work at right back. He's too slow. And it meant Corner had to come across and cover, and then Eon got pulled out of position. And with the numbers streaming forward, Hull, who've barely had any chances in this game. Unmarked man. It's a free strike at McLean. And it's 1 0 Hull. Wheels around. Brings it inside. Here's Peter Jackson. Finds Ethan Thompson. He finds Dufresne, shot blocked, Coleman will get it! Well, we just force our way through there. And the French gets the finish. 28 for the season, I think. Sutton are back in this game, but geez, we've had a plethora of chances. Their keeper's been brilliant. Finally, we just force one through. And it's 1-1. One -one. Well, there's half time. It is 1-1. One -one. Andre Eon barrels his way through. Jackson finds Thompson. Finds Hardy. Lay this one forward. No, picked out. Finds Jackson. Lays it out wide. Jake Hardy pushing his way forward. There's Jake Hardy. Oh, good save, Cooper. Zacharyson. Finds Thompson. Finds Dufresne. Julian Dufresne. Good save, Cooper. Well, let's make some changes here. We're going to make a couple. We're making four. Wepu will check in. We're going to run Hardy through 90 minutes coming back from that broken toe. And uh, hold up, Sun Wang Tang. And Shane Wilson checking in. Different Jackson. Sun Wang Tang. Drives his way forward. Delivers it in. Corman! Yes! Fucking get in! 2 1 sudden! The changes work. We stream forward. Someone tang with the delivery. And Coleman gets his 29th goal of the season. 2 1 Sutton United. Some fresh legs. Break the game open. Some Wang Tang. The little man from Thailand. Good delivery. Cooper can't save this one. Jeez, he's probably made 10 saves today. 
Had a good finish from the fridge. It's 2-1 Sutton. Great save, McLean. Big save. And kick taken. And for Ryerson. And for Eon. And there we go. 2-1. Sutton United. Well, Sutton getting 56% possession. 24 shots to 4. 11 saves from their keeper. We uh, really took it to them. We wanted that win. Performance-wise, it's Coleman, man of the match. 8.8 .8 with two goals. Uh, Jackson gets an 8.3. Uh, two tackles from him. 17 successful dribbles. So he did start in central defensive midfield. So he's had a good day out. Tang checks in for the assist. 7.8. Eon was good as well. Frank Hardy, 7.1. That's uh, not too shabby. 20 dribbles with a 95% dribble success rate. All right then, the Youth Academy reports are in and we found a few players again. Uh, the scouts working overtime and we've got Igor Malinowski from Poland, a goalkeeper, 65 rated, 87 to 94 potential. Looks pretty solid. We've got a lot of keepers coming through because we still have Demba Kambaya from Senegal up to a uh, 65, now 90 to 94 potential. Uh, Abdul Jalil Adil, 62 rated now, left back, 89 to 94 potential. And Shinji Enjo is at a 64 now, 85 to 91 potential. From Panama, we pick up Emilio Saldana, uh, 61 rated, 91 to 94 potential, 6 foot 4, looks okay. Uh, Rumbleton Tolentino at a 69 now, 88 to 94 potential. Joe Amanagalo from Toga, 60 overall, 85 to 94 potential. And from Russia, we pick up Timofey uh, Bikov. Uh, he's 18, right back, but left-footed, so we will convert him to a left back. Uh, 87 to 94 potential. Uh, he's probably going to want to call up soon, being 18, but we'll uh, get the change into him first. Volta Nascimento from Cape Verde at a 65 overall, 89 to 94 potential. Petrus Labashang made the move to central attacking midfielder and is now a 71 overall. How many good cams have we got coming through? 89 to 94 potential. And of course, the man we are waiting for probably next season, if I can hold him there, uh, Kenji Kawasaki, 70 overall, 95 to 94 potential. Final game today, we're taking on 21st place Derby County. They've got five losses on the trot, a three-star team, 5-3-2 holding formation with wing play. Right, we are playing in the snow. Mori's going to get a chance between the sticks today. Uh, and Tang checks in to start on the right wing. Wilson back into that CDM role. Jackson to right back. And then Weppo starts in the cam position. He's had some time to uh, get some rest, a few Gatorades. But uh, in the snow, let's see if we can get the win here at home. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. A snowy one in London. Oh, solid from Kone. Ryerson and some Wang Tang. Just work around the outside. Not as quick as the frame, but he's got some wheels here today in the snow. Maybe he's brought his ice skates. Here comes Sung Wang Tang. Looks for a delivery. Finds some Wepu. And Wilson was lining one up. Oh, Mori, big save. One nil Derby County. Everyone was fucking running on ice. And Murray's been beaten. He's made a couple of good early saves. Just giving the youngster a, a chance. We've got to test out these other keepers. Jackson putting pressure on. Andre Eon. Just backed away a little. And a good finish. One nil. Boyanovic. The Frank. Plays it off for Stoyanovic. Skip up pushing his way forward. Delivers it in deep. Sunwang Tang is there. Sunwang Tang, no! From Kone. And there is halftime whistle. One nil down to Derby. The snow seems to be affecting us. We've had like 10 shots, but nothing really on target. There's the frame. Works it himself. Brings it inside. As Coleman settles himself, that time he'll finish. 1-1, one, one. 30 for the season. The Coleman, the Barbarian, rolling around in the snow like he actually loves the shit. Cannonball time for the fridge. That's 1-1, one, one. we're back in the game. 
Well, there's resilience in this squad, and we're going to need it. Because once we get to the Premier League in Europe, geez, those games aren't going to be easy. 1-1. One, one. Zachariasen. Mr. the frame. Jackson. And Wepu. Wilson. The frame. Fucking Sutton! 2-1! Uh, 24, I think, for the season. Maybe 25 for the frame now. And we fight back again. 2-1. Good work from the boys. Let the home fans come to see. Determination. Fabio slinging the changes. Teddy Zimon, Thompson, Hardy and Molina all checking in. <laughs> Fuck me, boys! Where was the defense? Derby runs through us like a hot knife in butter. And it's 2-2. Two -two. Well, the changes haven't worked this time. Andre Eon was well forward. And young Mori has just been absolutely hung out to dry. 2-2. Two -two. From Eon. Zachariasen. And here for Thompson. Looks inside. Hardy. Jackson. Plays it forward. Coleman. Oh, fucking Sutton! 31 for the season for Coleman. And an instant reply from the Amber and Chocolate Army. Get in, boys. We're not going down without a fight. We'll swing all the way to the final whistle. Well, the fridge lights it up. I've just seen Peter Jackson back in that central defensive midfield role. He just has an impact. So it's nice to see that we've got some utility players. 3-2. What the fuck's on him? Good work, Kono. Oh, what the fuck our defense is doing? They want to get out of the snow as well. There's Teddy Zimon. Pushes his way forward. Oh, unlucky. Come on, Molina. Oh, for fuck's sake! Too many useless wankers in this squad. You give them fucking minutes. And they just fucking say, fuck you for not playing me. Molina needs to go. Ivkovic needs to go. <sighs> Diabolical. 3-3. Three, three. Fucking Molina. What are you doing there, mate? Fuck! Oh, that is Zachariasen. Jesus Christ, they're fucking swarming. Kill somebody! Run, Kone! What the fuck is this shit? Hardy. Plays it across for Jackson. Peter Jackson gets one through. There's Teddy Zimon. Oh, Teddy! Why? Fuck me! 3-3. Three, three. Even possession, but 14 shots to 7. Both keepers only made 3 saves. But 43% shot accuracy has fucking cost us. Oh, my days. Frank gets a 9.3 goal and an assist, but he ran out of legs and we had to take him off. Coleman, 8.7 with two goals. Tang and Wepu, Wilson. I mean, it wasn't a bad effort, but uh, we put the youngster between the sticks. Molyneux's fucking hopeless. And Teddy Simons missed a sitter to win the game. Right, and that's where we bring today's episode to a close. We still sit in second. Uh, well, we got nine point buffer on Bournemouth. But uh, Leeds have opened up the gap again to eight points. So looks like we'll be uh, playing for second here at the moment. But Leeds just don't seem to lose. They've only lost two all season. We've scored more than them, but unfortunately, we're just conceding still too many goals. We've got Blackburn coming up next, which, um, you know, gives us a, another opportunity to, to widen the gap between the teams below us. And that will finish out February. We'll then be into March. Uh, we've got Sheffield Wednesday mid-table Norwich uh, sitting in seventh and got West Brom as well on the horizon uh, also mid-table so uh, we knew this season would be dicey because of how thin we've kept the squad trying to keep some of those players by putting them out on loan letting them grow uh, this squad is going to be something special come next season providing they don't all get taken if we do qualify for the Premier League 
it means that uh, we have a better chance of holding our players, but I am still open to uh, sales to European football teams. So, you know, teams that finish in the top four, top six that are, you know, playing Champions League football, they're going to come because we're a freshly promoted team. They're going to want our players. So uh, it, it could be very interesting by the time we get through that first transfer window, all in all, providing we get to the Premier League. Still a lot of games to go, but it's looking okay. We'll push on. We'll see you in the next episode. I'm Sparring DK. It's five o'clock somewhere. And you have a good one. The Sparring DK channel now has Patreon. And if you feel like just going that little extra step to help, uh, you know, the channel grow, you can go across to the website, pledge your allegiance to myself. And uh, for $1 a month, you're basically putting it in a jar and allowing for us to go and buy some more beers and record some more beer drinking episodes. Thank you very much to the current lads that have gone ahead and supported the channel. Absolutely tremendous to see anybody willing just to give that $1 a month at this stage. I cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart. You you really will make a difference in the future. So jump across there if you're that way inclined to the Patreon channel, sign up today, and we'll see if we can get some extra beer drinking episodes for you at home. Now, if you are looking for some more content, we've got a couple of videos, one here, one here, and if you want to subscribe, there's a button right there. So go ahead, subscribe, and you'll be notified when the videos go live. Make sure you put on that notifications bell. We'll see you next time.